everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea. It's nice to have you guys here. Uh, I'm gonna finally do a, I can't really say monthly favorites because I haven't done, I haven't sat down to do a favorites video since September? August? I know I didn't do one in October because by the end of October I was in London and then by the end of November I was still sick and then it was Vlogmas and so yeah, so I kind of just made the decision to hold off, wait, and do a kind of general winter favorites because judging by the temperatures we've been having lately here in Arizona or in the Phoenix Valley, it is definitely spring. Winter is done. We are now solidly in the upper 70s, low 80s. I'm not that thrilled about it, but that's just me. So I thought I would do a roundup of all the things that I loved most. I tried to keep this as minimum as possible, but these are all things that I've been using for at least the month of January, if not also December, November, October. So I'm just gonna dive right in. I, I didn't get to read as many books over the winter holiday as I thought or as I hoped. I did read two of the books I bought in London. One was okay, but this was the one that I loved the most, and this is The Note by Zoe Fulbig. I absolutely adored this book. It is so adorable. It is just your classic, traditional chick lit fiction. I hate the name chick lit, but really good. Inspired by a true story. It's just, it's sweet, it's romantic, it's not overly cheesy. Set in and around London. Which I love. I just thought it was really cute and really well written. Definitely loved that. Highly recommend it. We'll switch to kind of fashion-y stuff. I'm gonna jump to this just because the box is in my hand and the item is on my wrist. I bought a new watch recently. This was my yay my advisor thinks I will actually graduate in time present. Um, so uh, it's a Ted Baker watch. I found it at the Nordstrom Rack for 65% off which was really good. It regularly retailed for uh, $225 and I got it for $78. Came in this really nice box and it also comes with two additional straps. So it's three interchangeable straps. So one is the Enchanted Garden print, which I do have a wallet that matches this. Um, I love the watch face. It does have a little spot where it tells you the date and I love that the second hand is in a bright pink and then you've got the two additional straps there's a pink and a black I really like that I think that makes it really versatile and I can wear it with pretty much anything in my wardrobe and not have to worry about it not matching and then some other fashion bits are behind me um, so two pairs of shoes over the winter holidays I was definitely trying to stay comfortable. Comfortable, cozy has definitely been the theme of this winter. I had two pairs of, I don't know what you would call them, dressy tennis shoes. So one of these pairs is this pair of Pumas. If you're watching Vlogmas, I think I opened these during Vlogmas. They are a red velvet. I just love the way the light hits them. They've got the kind of swoop, Puma swoop, and then they've got the Puma on the back and they are so comfortable and these look great with jeans but they also look great with yoga bottoms when I go to physical therapy I get tons of compliments on those when I wear them to physical therapy another favorite pair of shoes are these ones by Aldo can't remember when I got these I think I got them during vlogmas as well but I didn't really start wearing them until January because I was wearing the Pumas the Pumas just look really Christmassy so these were more of my January shoes but they're a blush pink satin and then they've got all of these wonderful crystals on them I think these will be around for a while and yeah I really like them they also came with velvet laces or these kind of satin finish nylon laces so which is what I've been using but I do like the velvet ones and then for here at home, I've had three different kind of cozy wrap things. Honorable mention goes to the fuzzy cozy blankets from Costco that I have scattered throughout my entire home. Um, and I have mentioned a few times in if not favorites videos, then vlogs and whatnot. Um, so definitely still using and loving those, but I feel like I've talked about those a lot. So one thing that I have been loving is this sweater cream 
kind of, not cable knit, but a chunky knit sweater from uh, Target. It's the brand Ava and Viv. It's really long, so it comes down almost to my knees. It's got pockets, and it's just a really soft, cozy knit. This with leggings and a t-shirt, and I'm good to go. Run errands, work at home, whatever. I feel like I'm a bit dressed and presentable, like I could go out in public, but I also feel like I'm wearing pajamas and a bathrobe, so super comfortable. Love that. Sad that it's getting into the 80s because I won't be able to wear it anymore. But I also got that on clearance, so it's only $15. The other thing that I'm hoping will go into the clearance section so I can buy a second one, because I, I loved this. I lived in this throughout January. It's another kind of long cardigan duster, but this is more of a heavy t-shirt material. It also has pockets and it's just a kind of open front cardigan, duster cardigan. It's got a nice kind of big collar, so it just kind of folds down around your neck. And this I want to say was 28, so I only bought the one, but if it goes on clearance I will buy another one, um, even if it's still in black, because um, I wouldn't mind having two of these. But again, this with black leggings and a t-shirt and my Pumas or my um, Aldos and I felt like I was good to go and run errands and be super comfortable but then wouldn't feel like I had to change into comfy clothes when I got home to work so love that and then on days that I didn't go out at all and just stayed home <laughs> um, my cozy cover-up of choice is an old favorite and that is my short dressing gown from Ted Baker, the B for Ted Baker line. I picked this up in Debenhams back in January. Was that really a year ago? Oh my gosh. It's super, super soft and cuddly and cozy. It's got a hood, it's got pockets, and I just love it. They still have these. I did see them in Debenhams when I was there in October, November, and I've also seen them on ASOS. So if you don't live in the UK, but you live somewhere that ASOS ships to, which I think they ship to just about everywhere these days, um, I have seen these on there. So, and for pretty much the same price that I paid, check them out. I highly, highly, highly recommend these. And then the last kind of fashiony bit I have to mention, and that is my new handbag <laughs> that I got for Christmas. If you watched my What I Got For Christmas video, this was kind of the big gift. Um, and I have been using this pretty much all January long. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the print. I love that it's got the top handles, which do extend. These come out so that it makes these handles longer. But it's also got a shoulder strap. So it fits a lot. I am going to do a what's in my bag with this bag at some point soon, so I'm going to stop talking about it now, but I had to include that in a favorites video. I absolutely love that bag with the black duster and the blush pink and crystal Aldo sneakers. It's just cute but casual and I feel like I'm super comfortable but I look like I planned it that way kind of a thing, not like I'm just going out and being a slob. Okay, now we're getting to the beauty bits, and there were quite a few things. A couple hair favorites. I got a mini of this size in my play box, and I, I fell in love with it. And so I actually, just the other day, went out and bought a full size. A little goes a long way, so that little sample actually lasted me several uses, which is great. Um, but this is by the brand IGK, and it's their Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm put a small, not too small, but I just put a dollop in my hand and then I rub my hands together and then I run my hands through my hair. And I focus it on the lengths, not the roots. And I do this as soon as I take my hair out of the towel, so before I brush it. I just smooth this over it and I literally just kind of do it like that, just in in the bits as they're as the hair's kind of clinging together, just smooth it through and it acts as a detangler. But then it also leaves my hair feeling really good. I put in a little bit of Moroccan oil after I brushed it last night, but other than that, that's all that's in my hair. Um, and just as a detangler, I really like this, but then it also has other really great benefits. It's paraben and sulfate free, petrolatum and mineral oil free, cruelty and gluten-free, vegan, and has UV protection, so 
like that. And then the other thing I have been relying on heavily are these clips from Sephora. I would imagine you could find similar clips that aren't Sephora brand. So it's not just these ones in particular, but just this general style of clip. Really, really like. The Sephora ones come in a pack of four for $10. Um, and I like it because I can section it, section my hair out into kind of four sections. I'm able to just take out, take down the next layer as I'm blow drying my hair rather than using just one giant clip and having to unclip it, resection it, reclip it up, and then keep repeating that process. So I feel like I can just section it up, clip it up and then get on with it and just remove each clip one at a time and it's really easy. Two fragrance favorites. One was definitely kind of October, November, December, um, and that is the My Burberry Black. I have this in the roller ball um, just because I can never use up a full bottle. But you can see I've used up quite a bit just of the roller ball in the last few months. Um, this was kind of my holiday fragrance of choice. I absolutely love it. I'm wearing it today. I'm looking forward to using this again next winter. And then in January, because this next one came, the sample of it came in the December play box, and I fell instantly in love with it, and then Sephora had the roller ball on a discount. It was this this one and then another fragrance in the line. And so this is Stella by Stella McCartney. I also have the Stella Peony version, but that's more of a spring one, so I haven't been wearing that as much. This is amber and rose with a bit of peony and then some other notes. I really do love this, and I've been wearing this a lot throughout January. It's also a bit heavy, so to me this is more of a winter fragrance. I love the the bottle. It's a purple ombre. It's just gorgeous. A couple lip favorites. So one was kind of a surprise. I wasn't expecting to like this as much. And this is the Honey Lip Scrub. These are like six dollars and I've still got a lot left even though I've been using it a lot. I use this almost every day that I do my makeup if I know I'm gonna wear a lip color. It's got a decent amount of scrub, but not a ton. It has just enough scrub, so I find that if I put this on first thing after I've done my skincare, the the sugary bits kind of, they, they do the scrubbing stuff they're supposed to do, but then they kind of dissolve by the time I'm ready to put on my lip color, but there's just a nice kind of balm left. So that's my kind of morning lip treatment. My evening lip treatment is by Laneige, um, and it's the Lip Sleeping Mask. And I, I absolutely love this. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll remember that I used to absolutely love the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Masks. And then sometime last December, January, when I was in London, it started irritating my lips. I was getting this kind of rash along the bottom edge of my lower lip. So I was really trying to find something that would be like a lip mask to really keep my lips hydrated throughout the night because I do have, I was having a problem of waking up in the morning with just super dry lips. And it was really uncomfortable. It wasn't painful, but it was really uncomfortable. Sometimes I'd wake up in the middle of the night feeling like I needed to reapply a lip balm. With this, I'm good. I just slather on a, th a medium thick layer and by morning it is just sunk into my lips and they, they feel nice and hydrated but not like I'm desperate to apply lip balm. Highly recommend this. It's $20 so it is about the same price. I think it's actually $6 cheaper than the Bite Mask. A little goes a long way. I've been using this consistently for over a month and I'm not even halfway through it. My lips are very happy again and I'm not dying from not having proper lip care. In terms of lip color, on the really kind of luxurious end of lip care um, is one by Hourglass and this is the, I believe these are called the Confession Lipsticks. They're the ones that all the beauty bloggers were going crazy over when they first came out because they're in these kind of gold bullets 
um, and they are reusable so this just kind of snaps out and you can snap in a new one. I've got the shade Secretly. You, know, you can see it's just a very classic true red. It's not too orangey red, but it's not super blue red. Perfect for the holidays. If you were watching Vlogmas, you saw me wear this several days throughout Vlogmas. It was my lipstick of choice. It's a beautiful cream finish and a cream feel, so it's very hydrating on the lips. But it does have a fair amount of staying power. It's opaque in one coat, so it feels really light on the lips because you're not having to put on a million coats to get it looking good. Granted, I haven't tried like a really dark berry color. Sometimes those shades tend to be a little bit more patchy. But overall online, they were getting a lot of really great reviews. So I... I am in love with this. They're $36, but you can get the refills for cheaper, so they're expensive to start if you want to get the bullet or to get the, the holder to refill, not too bad. I think the refills are only available online, but that's fine because once you know what shade you want. So I am tempted to go get another one of these in more of an everyday shade because I, I really did just love this. And I would say, if you are a lipstick fanatic, they are worth the 36. I wouldn't buy like one of each, but I wouldn't mind having one or two others. So we'll see. Let me do the brows and then I've got three face products. So brows and I'm wearing it today. The brow product that I've been using the most pretty much since I bought this in November is the um, Eyelore with Fleur de Force Brow Palette, and this is in the dark. It's got two darker tones, but you've got kind of a medium tone in it, then a super dark. I like that for mixing. And then you've got a highlight color. But I like this because even though these are both powders, my previous favorite brow product was also by Eyelore, but it was a gel and then a powder and then the highlighter. And I found that I used the gel a bit more than I used the powder because the powder didn't really stick that much without the gel. This powder sticks. It, it's not totally loose. It, it will stick to my brow hairs. So when my brows are, uh, you know, a few weeks out from being tinted or I was using this even when they, you know, hadn't been tinted in several weeks and were completely my natural blonde brows and this palette alone will cover them up pretty well. When they're that needing to be tinted I will also go in with the tinted gel by Fleur and Eyelore but if I'm just trying to do a quick brow to get out the door to go to physical therapy or something, I can get away with just this. And when my brows are still semi-tinted, like they kind of are at the moment, this is all I need. So I'm loving that. And then three more products, and then I swear we're done. Um, so a few face products that I've been loving over the last few weeks. All of these I've had pretty much in January. The first is by Andalou Naturals, and this is their Beauty Balm, their BB Cream, Natural Tint SPF 30 with Resveratrol Co um, Q10. It's their Age Defying. They have a few other BB creams in the other lines, but those ones were a bit deeper, a bit more tanned. This one is like my skin perfectly. It's like my perfect shade of pale. And I'm loving this. I love the feel of it. I love the way it wears on my skin throughout the day. You know, it gives me just a tiny bit of coverage. Not a ton, because it's a BB cream, but I feel like it's enough. So I've been loving this. I got it at Whole Foods. It was $20. And then with that, I used the Pacifica Mineral Neutralizing Mattifying Powder. This is in shade one, but for my shade of pale, it's perfect. It goes on fairly, I wouldn't say translucent, but not, there's something magic about this. I don't know what it is, but when I use it either with the BB cream or if I just put some primer on my skin and then put this on, it just mats my skin. It almost blurs out my pores. It just gives me this beautiful finish. It's kind of magic. I'm not gonna lie. Vegan, cruelty free, um, paraben free, all that good stuff free. I've been loving this. I think this was $15 at Whole Foods. And then the last thing <laughs> is the Becca 
This was the Apres Ski Glow Face Palette. I've been primarily using the Winterberry Blush and the Rose Quartz Highlighter. Um, but I've also, I have tried Opal. I know I like Opal. And I think as we get into the summer, the the coppery blush and the, the bronze bondy bronzer, I think I will use a bit more. Um, but right now, you know, I'm embracing the pale. I embrace the pale pretty much all year long, but I will probably start playing with the bronzier um, colors when summer gets here. I think these shades are really good for the winter. Um, and these ones are going to be really good for the summer. So I'm excited about that. Okay, and with that, I'm done. That's it. There were a lot more things, but I really did want to try to limit myself. If you're watching the vlogs, I am trying to incorporate more favorites and things within the vlogs and let you know how, how I'm feeling about certain things and, and whatnot. But with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a February favorites. I might kind of do these seasonally. I just feel like throughout the month. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If, you re if you've if you missed monthly favorites and you want me to do them every month, I will re go back to doing that. Otherwise, I might just do them kind of seasonally. But let me know what some of your favorites throughout winter have been or what your January favorites were. Say hi in the comments and I will see you all soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.